the royal family has disappeared. A lot of people are wondering what is your purpose. Not only have you disappeared during these riots, but you've also disappeared from the Olympics. Nobody has shown their face at the Olympics to help. William got kicked off the soccer club. I don't know what's going on internally, but externally it looks like a hot mess. On top of that, it looks like Kate won her little battle for George. I'll talk about that in a different video. It'll be a double upload day, SUS squad, just in case you miss me. I'm going to start talking about the Royals again, because it looks like it's getting interesting. So where was I? Oh, right dragging the royal family. Did I call Camilla? A horsey with ambition and a plan yet? No. Okay, we'll call Camilla that, but anyway, right. So all this stuff is going on. Kate got her way about George, and this has been verified. William doesn't know what to do. They only know how to attack Harry and Meghan. See, it's like when the pandemic hit, right? Everyone in industries like travel, hospitality, cooking, airbms, and restaurants thought it was a stable industry. No one ever thought a global pandemic would completely destroy it because no one could believe that would happen. Why am I comparing that to the UK royal family? Because I think they thought they could just lay low and never have to prove their worth. But did anyone ever think these race riots would develop in the UK in the summertime? No, I didn't either. So now everyone's asking, what are we paying you for? You don't want to come out and do engagements. The country is going crazy, and you won't make a formal statement or do anything. What are we paying you for? At the end of the day, we can shop at our own supermarkets, and guess what? We don't even care about the garden party, the trooping of the color, and all that mess. That's not to our benefit, that's to your benefit. That's how you hand out social favors. That's a benefit, not your job. Well, it looks like they are finally coming to their senses. Royal outlets, including Yahoo News and the New York Post, are reporting that William and Harry are reportedly navigating crisis talks as their bitter feud persists. Let's talk about the New York Post, because when you read from them, it's coming directly from the palace, in my opinion. William is navigating crisis talks with Harry as Princess Beatrice and Zara Tyndall step in again. Yes, he's trying to phase out Kate, but Kate did make a strategic move. We'll have to talk about that because as much as I can't stand Kate, I like William even less. So you know what they say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. They are saying William is navigating through his rumored crisis, talks with his estranged brother, Prince Harry, according to a royal expert. After a difficult year dealing with Kate and Charles' respective cancer diagnoses, the Prince of Wales has found support from his cousins, Beatrice and Zara Tyndall. William has been forced to increase his workload, while the rift with his younger brother continues to play out. Beatrice has been lending a helping hand, as have some of the highest-ranking members of the firm. Beatrice is very close with both Harry and William. Their relationship is fun and natural. It's never changed. They always have a lot of jokes together, and they laugh they are friends, and that's what's nice about it. They are cousins, but they are close and have each other's backs. They spend a lot of time together. Harry believes that Beatrice could act as a peacemaker in the family. She's close to both William and Harry, as well as the king, and they trust her. If anyone could initiate peace in the family, it would be her. But she wouldn't want to be too involved. She has spoken to the two brothers at some point, trying to improve the situation. Anyway, they are discussing things and communicating, but it's very difficult. I have no doubt there will be some kind of communication between the brothers and their father. A lot has happened, and a lot needs to be resolved. This may be on track, but it may not have been addressed yet. So why do I think they are putting this out there? Well, in my opinion, they are desperate. They know that Kate has gone AWOL, realizing she needs to look out for herself. But I'm sure she'll come back to get a dig in at Meghan when she can. The royal family is an embarrassment. They can't go overseas without being criticized, and they are seen as lazy. 
It looks like they might think they need Harry and Meghan more than ever. I know what you're saying, Meghan would never go back, but Harry, I'm not so sure that's his father and he loves him. I don't understand that system, but Harry seems to. The fact that they are even discussing this, the fact that they are so desperate, and the fact that they are putting Beatrice in instead of Kate, as the peacemaker is telling. Last we heard from Kate, she said she would never talk to Harry again, and she doesn't trust Beatrice. But Kate, you just got here, so you need to be quiet. However, Kate has made a strategic move against William, and it will be interesting to see how it plays out. Although I doubt Kate will ever make peace with Harry, because that's not who she is. To me, she's too vengeful. But at the end of the day, William can cough and Kate will come running. Kate being ostracized and having to protect her own interests doesn't mean she's developed a backbone. I just think Kate sees the writing on the wall. Anyway, guys, I know what you're saying, but we also have to ask why would the New York Post actually put this in print? Again, this is speculation on my part, of course, which is why I want to have a conversation. I want to see what you guys think. I do believe that they are making inroads. Now, I'm not saying they are like Harry, I'm sorry. They are probably like you pathetic scum, maybe if you kiss my feet, I'll let you come back. I'm sure it's arrogant and ridiculous, but at the end of the day, we have to admit that there might be more to this than meets the eye. With the UK in turmoil, they need Harry and Meghan more than ever.